Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I thought I would film a full collection update video since there are a couple of comebacks coming up from my favorite groups. And I thought I would do this update before those comebacks so you can see what my collection looks like before uh, all the new music and new merch gets released. So basically I have five uh, A4 binders and then I've got three A5 Beyond Ear binders and then I've got two collect books, the little ones. And then I've got a bunch of photo card holders as well. And I want to show the photo card holders because they have a lot of uh, rare photo cards and some of my favorite photo cards. So without further ado, let's get on into this video. So I'm going to introduce everything. So my Victon binder, this black one. My miscellaneous groups, more groups binder. My 101 binder. My uh, 17 album photo cards binder. And then my June binder for everything June here, including non-album stuff. Then just here we've got some Boys Planet Polaroids. Um, they were uh, customized for me and very affordable. Got my One Us Wide Beyond Ear binder just down here. Got my Lido Beyond Ear binder, Minghao Beyond Ear binder. This little Tiger Collect book is for um, miscellaneous One Us photo cards. This collect book is for 17 Carrot Land unit photo cards, my favorite ones. Then we've got photo card holders here. So let's start from small to large and I will show you the photo card holders first. Okay, so I've just put all the photo card holders on the side here so they don't mess up like the clarity of the video. But firstly, I wanted to show you the Boys Planet Polars that I got. I know I've been showing these in most videos that I've been filming recently, but I do love them so much. They are customized just for me from a mutual on Instagram. And they are um, all of my Boys Planet picks. Um, at the time of filming, uh, Boys Planet has not debuted a group yet. So I don't really know who's in the debut group, but I bet when I release this video, the debut group will be finalized. So these are my picks. I am really, really hoping they get in. Um, if some of them don't get in, uh, you know, this will be a bittersweet video to look back on. I'm filming it the day before Boys Planet Final. So yeah, my picks are Zhang Hao, Jiung, Ricky, and Gonuk. And I'm really hoping that all of them make it into the group. So those are my Boys Planet polos. All right, and then moving on, I'm gonna show you guys, I have two different types of photo card holder. I have these soft ones and the hard ones. I'm gonna show the soft ones first. So basically, most of these are Sanrio. Some of them are also um, made by like fan clubs and things. So this is the first one. I always do Sanrio characters according to what the idol looks like. So Jun is a cat and he is in the Hello Kitty holder. This is the Carrot Land, oh sorry, not Carrot Land. This is the ideal cut final scene um, Carrot Zone photo card. Very hard to find. And then the pair that I have with that is the Ming Hao, the same ideal cut um, photo card but for him. And he is in the Keto 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 P um, holder because he is a frog and I think they look so cute together. Normally when I take one, I take both. So those are um, Jun and Ming Hao. Then I have another um, Sanrio photo card holder. This is a Pom Pom Pudding one and this is the Your Choice album photo card for one side. It is my favorite one. So yes, then next up this is Huanong and then this is a tiger, it's supposed to be for Hoshi but um, Huanong is also a tiger so this is my favorite photo card of him, little bread cheeks, so cute and I love this photo card holder too, I showed it to him during our fan sign before. And then last but not least for these soft photo card holders, this um, was my first ever photo card holder that I got. This is from a Japanese fan of Jun and it says Wonjun Hui down the bottom. It's a photo card holder made just for him. And this photo card is the home hoodie photo card 
which was also really difficult to get. And then on the back it says cat times 610% equals Wunjin Kui. I think it's so cute. All right, so then we move on to our hard photo card holders. And firstly, I want to show this one because this one spins. So this, my friend got for me in Singapore. This is a, this photo card is the Kit Sector 17. And then it spins on the back. It's so fun. And yeah, <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Love this. This is a pretty new one as well. And then this one is a Psyduck photo card holder from Morning Glory. And then this is Drunana. <laughs> um, not my bias, but I really, really wanted to keep him. And then last two, I got this photo card holder for my birthday. And that's why I really, really love it. It was my first ever hard photo card holder. And this was my first ever Xion photo card. My first ever One Us photo card. And then, last but not least, my favorite Kono is Jun. And I bought this photo card holder when I went to Singapore to see 17. So it has a really special place in my heart. Lucky Tiger. So those are all the photo card holders I have. And then now let's move on to the collect books that I have. Alrighty, so I have two collect books and both of these are from Okiki Diary. I also have a pink one of this, but um, there's currently nothing in it. Um, so this is the first photo card collect book. And if we open it up, I use it to store these adorable unit cards from Carrotland. So this one, I'm going to flip through it and each unit will have um, either Jun Wanu or Mingyu. Alright, so that is the end of that collect book. There is another space here um, and it is perfectly filled up. So I am really happy with how this collect book looks. And then the next one is this slightly larger tiger one, also from Okiki Diary. And this is what it looks like. Um, it was originally just for Huanung, but now I just put um, all the Wanas photo cards that I, they're not in a set or like, I don't collect them fully, and there's no Lido in here because I collect Lido fully. But um, these are just the photo cards that I really like and don't really want to let go of. So it's Huanong first, and then we've got Raven second. A lot of these um, cat ear poses. And after Raven, we have some more Xion's. And a lot of these Xion's are gifts from friends as well. Um, Cause when I first started collecting one us, um, my bias was Xion. So a lot of friends um, gifted me a lot of Xion photo cards. And yeah, that is my second collect book. So after that, let's move on to my Beyond D binders. So the first Beyond D binder that I have is my Minghao binder. So I started collecting him maybe in the last year or so. And basically I just collect all of the photo cards that I really, really like for him. It's not really any like proper way that I collect, but I'm just going to flip through it. I'm sure you guys have seen most of these photo cards and know where they're from. And we've got some larger Minghao things. And then after this, I also have my first ever 17 photo card. This 
one that I bought from one of my really good friends. Then I just have some miscellaneous things in this binder because it's not very full. So these are basically um, like random albums have um, idle here, like random albums or photo cards that I don't really want to let go of. But yeah, that is my Minghao binder. It is not full at all and I still have a lot of room to grow with this binder. Then the next binder I want to show you guys is my Lido binder. So this has grown really, really fast. Got this chick. This is from the Cup Noodle Museum in Osaka. So let's have a look at this binder. This binder is pretty full. All right, so I've got his album photo cards first. And now we're moving on to some POBs. And Malice POBs here. And then just some larger things at the back. So the big cards. And tickets and some postcards. So that is my Lido binder. It is really full. I've only been collecting him for less than a year, but this binder is already quite full. Okay, next up is my Oneus OT6 binder. This is a pretty new binder and I am going to show you guys what is inside. This is all my OT6 sets that I selectively collect. So I've got my favourite Harry Potter set, not finished. Then we have some Malice sets. And then I also kept one each of the Apple cards. So that is my Oneus OT6 binder for now. I definitely hope to add to this collection, um, just collecting OT6 sets that I really like. Okay, so that was the end of my Beyond D binders. And now we're gonna move on to the really, really big A4 binders. Um, so I'm going to do my miscellaneous uh, groups binder first. It says more groups on the uh, side. And there's lots of, uh, not lots, but like there's some girl biases here. I'm thinking of selling all of my girl groups actually. So I'm thinking of selling my Itsy EOG collection. But have quite a lot of photo cards for her. Then um, my J collection for Stacy is already cut down by a lot. I have been selling her photo cards a little bit at a time. because so I'm trying to sell most of my girl groups and I'm preparing for the new Boys Planet debut group. Then I also have two sets of Taehyung for BTS. I love the concert photo cards. So I've got two sets for them. Then I have Minhyun in here, New East Minhyun. I think um, if I end up getting rid of this binder, I might move Minhyun into a Beyond D binder. Maybe like sharing with Ming Hao. Then we've got some big things for Minhyun too. 
and then we have AB6 Youngmin at the back. So Youngmin, I don't think he's promoting as an idol anymore, but I am just going to keep all of his photo cards. I really appreciated the time when he was active with AB6 and he was my bias back then. So we'll be keeping everything for him. And we've just got some large things at the back. So that was my more grips binder. I'm thinking of uh, downsizing and getting rid of this binder though. Okay, next up we have my 101 binder. This, um, this binder I haven't added to in more than a year, I think. It's got 101. But yeah, 101 got me back into K-pop. And they have a very special place in my heart. So that's why um, I always keep their binder anyway. And I collected OT11 for most album things. They look so good, these photo cards. I love these photo cards so much. So I have flipped through this before. I will just do it relatively quickly. But yeah, my OT11 collection looks just so beautiful and so satisfying. And then for some things, I would collect like my top three or my top four, depending on how it fits in the binder. Now we're getting on to larger things. And yeah, that is that for my 101 binder. It was very nostalgic to flip through this binder again. And I, I'm really hoping that the new Boys Planet group will bring back the same kind of feelings that I had for 101. I'm really excited to hopefully collect a little bit of Boys Planet and we'll see how that goes. Then the next binder I wanted to show is my Victon binder. So this is another group that I haven't updated in a while. I cut back a lot on collecting Victon to focus a bit more on Seventeen. But Victon, I also collected OT7 album things. So yeah, a lot of these are complete now, which is really satisfying. And it was also a good memory. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of my... Victon collection. I have considered getting rid of it, but I feel like this one. I love this set. So a lot of these I don't really want to get rid of. I got into Victon also through a produce or like an Mnet survival show because Sungwoo and Byungchan were in uh, Produce X101 and Sungwoo was my pick for that. So I um, started collecting Victon after X1 disbanded. And that was a really good time. Now we're getting into non-album stuff. I like this set a lot. Then we have Sungwoo's solo. We've got some larger things. And then Sungwoo's solo postcards. I went 
mad collecting every single thing that was in his solo album. So that is that for my Victon binder. I feel like there's less than before because I sold a couple of sets that were not um that were non-album. But yeah, most of these are album photo cards. OT7. Okay, so the final two binders are both 17, and I feel like you guys are probably waiting for the 17 ones. So this first one is my 17 album photo cards collection. And so I collect Jun, Wonu, and Mingyu, and this is um, everything that I have so far. And I also want to look at this just um, before the new comeback. Um, the new comeback doesn't have that many photo cards, but it's just fun to look through these. And I hardly ever flip through my binders as well. I feel like I only flip through them when I'm um, storing photo cards or something, or when I have to check a specific photo card. But yeah, it's really satisfying collecting three members of 17 and putting them in a nine pocket binder because you get like the nice little rows and columns and everything matches and it's just really really satisfying Okay, and then see, I put a filler here. I do kind of want another flower photo card, like an actual one, because um, this one is just a fake print to fill it up, because the actual Your Choice is in my photo card holder. But I'm pretty happy with that. I also thought about collecting OT13 for the flower concept, but a lot of people collect OT13, so I don't think I will. They're pretty expensive photo cards now. Alright, we're getting on to Face the Sun, which was their most recent album. I still need a couple of cards from Face the Sun. And then we have Sector 17 here. And my favourite page is this one. And then I think the only OT13 set that I actually have is the Daikon magazine set um, because that one came with 13 photo cards so it was pretty easy to collect or pretty easy to just obtain. And then back here I have some larger album inclusions mainly just for June and then for some things like here where it looks really nice like this um, I collected three members. I used to have one larger album inclusions as well, but I sold most of them. Okay, and then that is the end of my 17 album photo cards and inclusions binder. So the last one that we have after this is just my June binder. So let's get on into that one. Alright, I also do want to show them side by side because these were the Attacker um, large clear cards. They look so good on the front of binders. It's a really good idea. Okay, so this is my June binder. This is the front, and then the side says Wen Jin Hui on in very, very pretty hollow um, decal. And then on the back, I actually decorate it a bit. So I get a lot of these polkas as freebies. So I decided to make a little collage, and I think it looks really cute. Might actually um, add a bit more, I might like start overlapping them and stuff because I have a couple more now, but that's what the back looks like. Oh, and the 17 binder, like the one I showed previously, has nothing on the back, in case you were interested in that. 
Okay, we've got Power of Love uh, thing here. We've got a little mini poster from the Be The Sun tour. We have an introduction page of my business cards. And these are all like screenshots taken from my fan signs. Okay, so starting off, we have the Japanese photo cards. Then we have my favorite HMVs. I don't collect all of the HMVs, I just collect the ones that I really like. Um, this page is pretty good. <laughs> then we have, I think this would be uh, semicolon and Hengare POBs, back when POBs were not that big of a thing. And then starting from Your Choice, POBs just took off. So these are all the Your Choice POBs. And then Attacker POVs. And then Face the Sun POVs. Got lots and lots of them. I like how it went one page for your choice, two pages for Attacker, and then three pages of POVs for Face the Sun. We've got Sector 17, which is just one page actually, because I didn't really like his blue hair. So I passed up a lot of POBs. Got membership. And we have season's greetings and in the soup down here. Got um, social club and then home and uh, 17 cafe. And then here we have little wishes, the watch photo card, and then um, seventh anniversary or six sorry sixth anniversary, <clears throat> and then uh, the name photo book down here. We have DVD photo cards. Then we have uh, the very very early era trading cards. We have his birthday box and then seventh anniversary. And then Carrotline photo cards. Sorry, trading cards for Carrotline, I mean. <laughs> then we have um, this is the concert trading cards. Power of Love up there. Then we just have heaps and heaps of trading cards. So I've got pretty much all of the sets for his trading cards because I do collect um, everything. It's very, very satisfying collecting everything for Jun. And then we have the home trading cards. We have Hanabi trading cards. Then we have some brand collabs, so um, we've got like Daikon, a lot of Sam, um, what else? Yeah, I kind of stopped collecting the brand trading cards as well. We have some Daikon, his individual Daikon as well. Then we have Lawson prints. So Lawson prints were really fun for me to collect. I feel like maybe because I like J-pop as well, Lawson Prince feels more like a J-pop thing to collect. But I love my Lawson Prince. <laughs> then we have uh, larger things. So some season's greetings, some merch, um, like film strips and polars. Got postcards. This one is also my favorite as well. Um, it's like merch, a uh, postcard book from Carrot Land 2022. I really like how he looks here. And same thing for Be The Sun. 
we've got the debut postcards. And social club and see, greetings and the teenage standy thingy. Oh yes, and the weaver standy for face the sun. So that is my June binder. I, I like it so much after I flip through everything. Um, I think I might start flipping through things a little bit more often from now on because it makes me appreciate my collection so much. And yeah, that is actually the end of my little, not really little, but that's the end of my collection update for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to new comebacks and more photo card storing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.